as Captain Olimar or any other Pikmin leaders in the Pikmin series, you can whistle in the Pikmins to follow you around and take them to get treasures around in the level. That is what we tr will try to mimic with the help of the Pikmins of course in Unity. Here we are at the Forest of Hope. The Pikmins help us learn more about Navmesh and Nav agents. They will give us an idea on how they will follow Olimar around as you can see here. But first, in order to do so, we have to do something with the Force of Hope itself. Mm -hmm. That's right. We have to make it so that the Pikmins know where they can go. Hooray. Setting up the nav mesh for them. Up in the Windows tab, down to the AI option, click on the navigation, and a window or a new tab will appear. Yeah. So we want to make the Force walkable, so I go to the Object tab and select the force mesh and have it set to walkable. Then in the bake tab, we want to actually apply, or in this case, bake the force to let the Pikmins walk. Here, anywhere you, you can see blue is where the Pikmins can roam around in. Anywhere that's not blue, they will not be able to walk or climb up there. Next, I have to make the Pikmins agents of the mesh. I add a component to each of the pigments called Nav Mesh Agents, and it will allow them to be able to walk around in the forest, which we have set as the Nav Mesh. I can change the size of the agent to be smaller than the actual sprite. Like we can we, we can see here, the blue blue pigment has a large Nav Mesh agent, and that's not needed, but I can quickly adjust here. So in the Nav Mesh, I'm going to apply this to all the pigments. I'm going to set the radius to be 1. So in addition, I have a script attached to these Pikmins to follow Olimar around. Let's take a look at what they have inside. Here is what they have. At the top of the script, they have using UnityEngine.ai. If you want to do anything with NavMesh agents, you have to have that included. So that way we can access stuff and make the Pikmins come to life. I have Olimar as a public game object so it would be easier for me to set who, where the Pikmin should follow. In start function, I have Pikmin to grab the nav mesh agent it from itself, which will be used shortly in the next line of code. In update, Pikmin.setDestination is the key line of code that will actually make the Pikmin move and follow the target destination inside. In this case, wherever Olimar goes, the Pikmins will follow him there. Let's take a look at it again. As you can see, the Pikmins will follow Olimar around. But once they, once the Pikmins get to Olimar, they will not leave him alone. He doesn't have any personal space. They need to have a stopping distance, which is located right here in the nav mesh agent. And I'm going to change that to three and move around a bit. So as you can see, they are giving him some personal space, which is good. Olimar needs his space. And they are a lot faster in the game. So I'm just going to increase the speed a bit just to catch up with Olimar. So I'm going to change the speed here to 9.5. Olimar is about 10 right now. So they are catching up to Olimar very well. Very quickly they'll catch up and give him some space. And I think that's about it about... Hey, is that my title card? What is it doing all the way over there? I would like to have it back, please. Just like in the game, the Pikmins carry the treasures back to the ship. They will take my card and bring it over, just like they do in the game. Let's take a look at what they have here. There is an empty game object that groups the Pikmins and the card all together to act as one nav mesh agent. They also have a script that contains all these checkpoints that I created here in the path game object. So let's just set them, let's let them start to bring my card back. Meanwhile, they're doing that. Since they're slow, let's go check out their code. In the take back to the dolphin script, I have an array of checkpoints that forms a path for the pigments to get back to the ship. The next checkpoint variable is the current checkpoint that the Pikmins need to reach or go to mm. and of course my Pikmin group that we need. In the start function we don't want the group 
to slow down as they reach the checkpoint. The Borb Orbs and the Warlowogs could easily attack them. We want them to keep on going. In the update function, I have it as if the distance between the Pikmin and the checkpoint is less than one, then update its checkpoint to the next one. With the percent sign or the modulus operator, once the Pikmin's reach the end of the path, they will go in a loop and it would take the card back to the original spot. And I don't want that to happen, but I just want to show you if you are interested in making your AI to go in a loop. You can just get rid of it just to make it only one way. Down below here is just a hacky way of making the Pikmin's go around the ship once they reach over there. Uh, this is not needed, so don't worry about that part. Wow, thank you Pikmin's for bringing back my card, and thank you for your help with Navmesh and Nav Agents. If these Pick Pick Carrots looking creatures helped you out, please leave a like, sub Sprite to see more Unity tutorials with guests like these Pikmin's. Comment down below if you have any questions or methods on how you work with Navmesh or Nav Agents. Until then, I will see you in the next level. Bye!